Good morning, guys. Nice to see you guys here today. Well, I can't actually see you guys, but nice to see you guys. <laughs> so today we're going to take a look at Adobe Spark. It's something that has been around for a while now. But I thought about it recently and I said, you know what, I'm using this for my clients. Why not share this information with you guys? Um, it is a platform where it allows you to create adverts, whether it's on social media, whether it's creating a video ad. It's all entirely up to you. So I'm going to jump right into it now. I hope you guys enjoy it and let's just do it. So as you start up Adobe uh, Spark, it is an internet software so you do require internet. There is a app on your phone that is available, there is um, uh, the app for Android, there is an app for iOS, oh, so you can get both, I mean you can get it on your phone, you can get it on your I iPhone, anything. Um, so, And it's also better that it's internet based so you can even access everything on the internet. So if you do look here at the upgrade sign, if I click on the upgrade, you can access a premium version uh, with premium features that are not available on the free version. For a business starting up and or Facebook channels, Facebook profiles, if you're just looking to just update your profile, make your profile, profile on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, look a bit more better, a bit more classy than you'd come to this thing here. But today I'm just going to focus on getting an ad or making an advert for businesses or my business, my blog, my channel. I'm just going to focus on that there. I'm going to jump straight into it. I'm going to create an ad for Facebook. It's not an ad that I'm going to be using. but it's something that I'd like to use in the future. If you go down here, you'd see here under popular, you'd see what most of the people are using at the moment. Um, you can see invitations for events, invitation for weddings. So you can actually do a slideshow in it. Um, you can create a cover photo, which actually creates a thin strip so that you can add in your cover of Facebook. You can do a teaser video. You can do a flyer. You can do a newsletter. What we're going to be focusing on today is the Facebook ad, an explainer video, which which you can explain in a few steps what you, you're doing or what, what's happening on your on your video. A lesson plan video, especially if you're doing something like teaching or you're studying, you do something like this, yeah. And if you go more down, it's champion your cause. It, it You can market your, your cause or you can market your business or something that you're doing. You can create a brochure here, which you can fold to three parts. And then if you go here, you can promote your brand. What I'm going to be focusing on, as I said, was Facebook ad, which I am creating for my users and my followers and for the people that are on Facebook and following me. I am on Facebook. You can find me under comfort shooting. So now we are in the Facebook ad where you can see on your right hand side, there is a whole lot of list of stuff that you can do. If you wanted to add more pictures in your ad, you can add more pictures. If you want to do um, this type of styling or this type of styling um, or a banner, banner that way, this type of banner, it gives you a whole lot to work with. You can actually do this here uh, where you can add multiple pictures or just keep it color coded and have one picture in the side. It all boils down to what you want. I see um, Adobe Spark, even though it's a free version um, of the Adobe Spark, it does give you a slight bit of flexibility. So you can add borders if you want to. Uh, you can just increase the cell as well. It does similar thing to adding borders. And then you can create a design. The design is how you want it to look. If I click the first one, this is the first design that I'm going to get. This looks quite good, it gives that whole um, background effect and gives you that logo in the front. There's a whole lot of designs that we can go through here. So as I go through the designs, you can see it does make a lot of difference. Um, especially when you're marketing or you're doing an ad for Facebook, you want to have a use code so that you can designate the ad that you've done. Um, especially if you're doing quite a few ads, you can actually include this barcode or this code there in the bottom so you can link you back to that ad specifically. So I'm gonna just choose a new picture. I'm gonna delete the, the picture behind there and then I'm gonna add a new picture by replacing it there. So as I choose a picture I'm just gonna choose a picture quick. There we go. There's a picture there. Just waiting for it to upload. 
Okay, so it's uploaded. Obviously, we need to keep in the theme of music because we do have a mic stand in the back. I'm just going to double click on that there and rename this to Dand a chance to win a free band photo shoot and I'm going to click that there. Obviously, we're targeting music bands and that would be awesome. I'm also just going to double click there again and just put an emphasis on the band. And then we're going to drag it a bit more bigger and give you the option to centralize it. We centralized it there. We're going to change the code to something that is a bit more matching with the theme of the app. band 4576 sms band 20791234567 blah, blah 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 and make this a bit more bigger so people can see sms band to blah 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 and so ideally what this would do is if you own a company or you own a a business you have an influx of SMSs or you have an influx of messages that will come through you to you what you can do is just wait for the SMSs to come and most likely the first or the last or the middle one you could select that one and select them to do a photo shoot for you for them for everyone okay so you can do one or you can do two photo shoots in one day you can Put some exposure to your name and your photo shoots um, and then that's it so now i'm gonna click into looks i'm just gonna give this a better look let's have a look at that give it me that black and white oh lighting that looks better and then we're gonna stop right there we've done with the image um, I'm just going to change this here to a bit more of a classy look. Just have a chance to get a bad photo shoot. Here we go. This looks quite good. So it can, it's obviously up to you as a user and in, as a brand ambassador of your brand. You are your brand and obviously you want to promote your brand the way you feel like promoting your brand. After this here, yeah, you can uh, change the colors you can play around the colors again with the layout you can add more pictures if you want to add more pictures you can uh, also go down here and resize it to different platforms maybe you're not only posting on facebook but you're posting on instagram and you're posting it all over all over the world so that they can see it and you want the banner a bit more longer and you want a whole lot more and maybe you want to put this as your banner maybe it's not even add so you can go right down here and just change those ratios to whatever you want them to be. Um, and then when you're done with everything, you just click download. There's two options here. I really appreciate that Adobe has taken the time to add the print PDF form where th this form here would mainly be used like, let's say you're doing a poster and you want to stay relevant to your ad that you post on Facebook. So you could also print this out in a good clear copy because we are working on good clear work here. Um, you can just print it out and post it up on the wall or off your, off your business and, and get more people aware that it is a theme, you're running a theme, or you're gonna print it out in hard copy and you can give it to people in good quality. Um, also the image download, I do do both downloads. So I click download there, start download, it downloads the image. I go back, click print in PDF, Prints that in PDF. Obviously, you have to wait a while. Um, it takes about a minute or less than a minute, depending on your internet speed and also how fast the Adobe Spark is working at the time. So, guys, thank you for watching another episode of Inside Tutorial. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, just kick it in there. If you haven't hit that like button, just hit a roundhouse kick there. And I'm your boy Wayne Ashley, and I am out.